Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Metatron cut his hair. No, it's a bun. <laughs> a purple bun, if I go this way. And a yellow bun, if I go this way. Purple and yellow, it's a reference. It's a reference, Amiga 500, Barbarian. Oh gosh, what do you know? Weren't even born. You weren't even born. Hello, noble ones. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking, and today we're not talking barbarians. We're talking Vikings. And I came prepared. What, you think I'm messing around? I came here with a Viking shield, well, a Norse shield, call it whatever you want. Look at this. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a thing of beauty. Yes, Vikings. Here he is. We'll mess around with this in a little bit. All right, Metatron, get to the freaking point. How did you even get to 900 and whatever thousand subscribers? Oh, I don't know, my friend, but let me get my purple back. All right, let's go. So one of my favorite games ever is the video game Valheim. I put so many hours in it. It's a survival game. You play within setting Norse mythology. You play as a Viking. It's really, really, really fun. I love it. I'll never stop playing it. It's fantastic. But the other day, I was just browsing through Facebook, wasting my time, and I found this boom so over at game found they announced valheim the board game my friend but the board game i'm excited i'm so gonna back this so as you can see they reached their goal in 53 minutes and 12 seconds and rightly so and now they've got 626 percent funded and they have at a 1.2 million dollars and very soon they'll get my pledge because I'm so excited about this. Excited and nervous at the same time. I really don't want them to F this up. So it needs to be, you know me, it needs to be historically accurate to the game. I hope that this looks the part. I hope that it feels like I'm playing the video game, but on a board game iteration. And also I really hope the components are good, the gameplay, everything. But to be honest, when I look at this, I mean, it looks great. This looks fantastic. I don't think they messed up, at least in the component department. Got some game found exclusive. They got the little boats. I, I love, oh my gosh, the good time that I've had with the original game, getting that ship, putting it together with my friends. We had like a little village of us i think it was 10 of us playing all together and then we managed to get the ship all on the ship go to the uh, sailing into the adventures what a great game i see some minis so that's fantastic look at they got the skeleton play your way yeah sure i'll do that oh they got the they got the little house <laughs> i love that and look at the little the miniatures i like that it kind of reminds me of oh gosh what is that called the other one about vikings blood 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 what? Blood something. I'll find it, put it in editing. The troll encounter. Oh yeah, I hate trolls even now. Like I put 500 hours in game. I still, if I am in the early stages, I always die with the trolls. Fight the Forsaken. It has a solo mode. All right, so the, we've got a few additions. We got to review this. We got to review this because we need to decide. You need to help me decide why I'm going to get the standard edition, right? Because I mean, $73, it's already a little spendy. Um, so you need to convince me not to buy the most expensive one. It's, it's on you. If I buy the most expensive one, it's on you. Let's go. So standard edition, what do you get? Enemy standees. All right. Well, they're very colorful. They, they look nice. They look nice. Yeah, oh my gosh, this guy in the, in, the, um, in the swamps, right? With all the undeads. I loved this boss fight. Well, we, we killed all the bosses, by the way. I, I played through the whole game. It was great. So, okay, so that's it. That's what you get. Cardboard resource token, double layered playboard. I mean, it's still very colorful. So I think this is nice. I might, I might get this one. Standard edition is what I think. I'm going to get. All right, next one. Deluxe Addiction. What do you $128. That's uh, that's a pretty penny. That's a lot of money, all right? I got a mortgage to pay, new house, family, wife. It is what it is. Got to buy helmets. But let's see what you get. So gold foil box detail. I don't particularly care about that. In fact, I, I, I got to say, I kind of like the original box more because you can appreciate the art. So I don't care about that. You got these four miniatures. Do we get them in the original? Yes, we do. So what do you, enemy? Oh, oh gosh, enemy miniatures. All right, listen. I know I said I was going to get the standard edition, but enemy miniatures, look at the skeleton. 
we gotta get this one. We're gonna get. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna get the deluxe edition. I don't care whatever they give afterwards. They give me another little foil around this. I don't care. I'm getting the deluxe edition because I mean, it's the miniatures. It's the. I'm gonna paint them and I'm gonna have a great time. I'm gonna pay. What else? Cloth bag. Don't care. Wooden resource token. Well, I suppose it's a little improvement. 3D cardboard house. So you don't get the house with a standard. Yeah, because it's like 2D. Well, no, yeah, we gotta get deluxe. We gotta get deluxe. It is what it is, no, but once you tried, you failed. I'm gonna get deluxe. Collector's edition, $172, no way, okay? Not a chance in Valhalla that I get this gold foil, don't care. We already have the minis. Enemy miniatures, we already have them. Four unique Forsaken miniatures, all right, plus, oh gosh. Haldor's Horde. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh no, you get a functional chest to stash all your hard-earned resources. Seven metal coins. Okay, listen. I know what I said. I, sh I know what I said. I understand I may need professional help. But how can I say no to the seven metal coins? Come on. And you get the whole expansion with all these treasures and the little... We gotta get this. Like, if it was just this, I wouldn't care. We gotta... So, I'm gonna get Collected Edition, all right? I tried. You tried. We both tried. It's gonna be Collectors. I'm not... I'm gonna stop it here and I'm not gonna... I don't care what they gave me. I already have a Viking Shield. I have it. So, what else can they give me? Come on. Collectors all in. $246. Listen. That's like, come on, it's like my credit card payment. I'm not going to do that. So you get all of this plus all add-ons, not including merch. So you get clear cut sleeves, don't care. Dice Tower House upgrade. Who are these people? This is, this is, this is not like just game developers. They must have done this together with a psychologist. You get, all right, the, the Neopene game map. I don't particularly care about that. I mean, I like, I like the cardboard. Probably I even like the cardboard better, to be honest with you, so I don't particularly care about that. But you get wooden furniture pack, nice. STL files for all miniatures, don't care. Exclusive dice set. Oh no. Oh no. Odin, help me. Thor, I need your help. How can you say no to that? Look at the colors. You got this like blue with the shield. I got a shield and it's blue. It, it was meant to be. It was. I know. I know you're trying to tell me, Metatron, you can't spend $246. You've got to be financially responsible. You're the man of the house. But it's. I have a blue die. I, mean, I have a blue shield. And this is blue with a shield. It can't be coincidence. It's meant to be. By getting the collector's all-in pledge, you save 25% compared to buying the add-ons and collector's edition separately. And they even have this one of my favorite armors with the bronze... Oh gosh, not because it's functional, it makes no sense in fact at all. Because I mean, you could just slip a blade, you could, if you stab through this, it would, it, would make, it would render the entire thing useless. But I appreciate the little leather strap here, I have it. I have it, I'm gonna show you, I have it. I have it, I have it. I'm not making this up, I'm not making this up. Look, I have this, this is the, the leather strap, that, that's another, I mean, you could tell me it's a coincidence once, but twice? Twice, it's the same shield color, and this, look, how can this be coincidence? We're both wearing the shield, we both have the lead star, I'm getting collectors all in. I'm getting collectors all in. <sighs> Messing up my hair. <sighs> right, where were we? Where were we? By getting the collectors all in pledge, you save 25% compared to buying the add-ons and collectors edition separately. Add-ons, so you get a little dice, $22, which I mean, it's still a little pricey, but it's a beautiful hue of green. Look at this. Gosh, so they did. You know, I wouldn't have done black. I would have gone for purple, to be honest. I would have done like purple and yellow, blue and red, I guess, or blue and orange, and then a, a random green. Yeah, I would have done that, but it's okay. I love the Dice Tower. I love the Dice Tower. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, it looks good. I mean, the quality is fantastic. It's just, a, it's a little bit of a, meh. I kind of like cardboard, but oh my gosh, look at all the minis. Yeah, I recognize all of them. Like this guy was a pain in the neck. Oh no, no, this, the dragon gave me PTSD. The winter dragon mother, whatever it was called. It's, it's the one that when you defeat the dragon, then you get this power called like mother. 
and then you can die control the winds when you sail with your with your ship but this dragon i died so many times for that fight that it literally gave me freaking ptsd uh, the first one was all right but then again they made it a lot easier now i think they they sort of they were a lot of like cry babies oh, I'm, I'm dying at the first boss and dying at the first boss and so they kind of nerfed it I liked it better before. I think I liked it that it was a little a little challenging at least. But I mean, if you go to against this boss, but you are fully geared and you have already taken your time slowly to improve your, your armor, your arrows and whatnot, then, and you go as a group, it's pretty simple to, to take him down, to be honest. But yeah, he, this guy was a little bit of a pain in the neck. This guy was so much fun. He kept like throwing all these poisonous areas and you used to dodge. I love that. You know what we did actually at one point? We even created a little house uh, in the swamps. So we were literally living in the swamps. Who does that? <laughs> Filled with undead. Loved it. So uh, yeah. So here they are. I think, I think I'm going to go for the all-in. So I'm going to need to save up a little bit this month. Maybe we can go to McDonald's less. So we save up every time. 20 bucks. Do that 10 times. You can buy it. I think I'm going to do that because this looks incredible. This looks incredible. Now, what about like a... Can they show us how the game plays? Is there like a video? Oh my gosh. The art department. Who are these guys? Il cibo è qui. Okay, arrivo. Okay, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao talking about mcdonald's last time i ordered mcdonald's until i buy this let's go all right there you go here we got it mcdonald's mcdonald's for me i don't eat it very often so it's okay but when i do i do so today i got a quarter pounder with cheese that's lovely and for the record these are not my fries these are my wife's fries i always steal my wife's fries um it's not a crime she doesn't report it let's do it McDonald's fries, there we go. My gosh, you can't beat a McDonald's fry, it's really good. I know you're gonna order McDonald's now because you saw me eat Mc... Oops, because you saw me eat McDonald's. I know, I know how that works. Quarter pounder with cheese. Not frozen. Man, the, the crunch of the onions. Ah, damn Americans, I won't fit my armor. It's gonna be your fault. There's something about beef and cheese. I don't know what it is. Oh, we gotta find the video. Let's go. I'm watching that while I finish eating my wife's fries. Right, two minutes and 16. Will they convince me? Valheim! Woohoo! Mighty warriors, Odin summons you to cleanse Valheim of the growing evil. Gather your allies to fight off the sinister Forsaken who stand in your way of glory. I'm play the Together, blue guy. you explore the wilderness and face its dangers to complete objectives. Build up your strength oh, before awesome. you are ready to challenge the Forsaken. Aiktir, the Elder, Bonemass, and Modar will seek to disrupt your progress at every step. You must conquer their challenges or perish under their ever-growing pressure. To succeed, discover the lands of Valheim and seek out essential resources by land and sea. Use them to upgrade your base and craft powerful equipment for you and oh, your group. I love it. Fight off the dangers of the wilderness as you carve a path forward. <laughs> And remember to cook a hearty meal yep. to stay strong. A I'm hero needs to eat. Mm, I agree. But be wary. The Forsaken will always try to stop you. A slew of obstacles from poisoned crops to troll attacks will test your resolve. Sometimes the strength of your allies will be your greatest asset. Finally, when you have completed your objectives, challenge the Forsaken at their altar, where your combined strategy okay. and skill will come Just to like the test. The game. In this yep. final battle, they will unleash overwhelming attacks. Be vigilant Before of their the tricks nerfing. that turn the battlefield against you, and try oh, your best awesome. to stay alive. Will you claim victory against the Forsaken, or will you die a warrior's death? Woo! That's amazing! Step forth into Valheim and yeah. prove yourself chosen warrior.
Join the adventure on Game Found Now. Iron Gate are absolutely awesome. I stand no chance. I'll be honest with you, I stand zero chance, zero chances. I'm going to buy this and you did not stop me. So I'm just going to go and order. Well, I got seven days, I suppose, but I'm just going to go and order the all-in for this because, yes, so it's like, it's, it's a co-op. I don't know if it has like semi-cooperative aspects to it, but it looks a lot like a co-op co game. I appreciate that there is a solo mode, although then again, might as well play the video game at that point. But you know, if you're somewhere, you can't play the game. They've got merch. Let me check this out. Oof, freaking ban. Hurts, hurts your head after a while. So let's check this uh, this merch. Let's go. Okay, so we've got Big Spoon, I suppose. Well, okay, we've got a few things here. So house upgrades. So you can buy the upgrade. That's nice. That's nice of them. You can buy the add-ons later. Maybe at first you can't invest. So you get the basic. And then uh, you, can, you can just buy the add-ons later. So that's nice. But you also have merch. So we've got Big Spoon. Well, this is a little bit of a waste of money. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not paying 20. I'm not paying 20. Guys, I love your work. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not gonna give you 20 euros for a freaking, yeah. Merch wooden beer coasters, I guess. But I mean, if they were in color, all right, I'll be honest with you. If they were in color, like blue, green, red, yellow, I would have bought this so that you can also use them to remember when you're at the table. Uh, okay, I'm the blue player and I've got the blue coaster. I would have got them at that point, but just like this plate, well, I could paint them though. I think about it. Uh, merch metal dice keyring. Uh, I don't know. Depends what metal. So if this is just like steel, no. But it looks a little reddish. So if it's if it's like copper or bronze, I'll get it. If it's steel, I'm like nah, not really. So I'm not really interested in the merch. But I've got to say it. I've got to say it. This this is amazing. This looks fantastic. But in general, this game. I mean, these people are amazing. If I look at that, look at the box. Look how well everything is well thought out, all organized. Then again, I really like the foldable board over the other one. They're like the one looks like a mat. I'll have to see if there is a way for me to get this one, regardless of the fact that I'm going for the all in. I don't know if you get if it's just swapped or if it's an extra. If it comes as an extra, that's something actually I'd like to know if the developers are watching this. Uh, you've got this gardening bundle, very nice. You've got Oh, the, yeah, these guys, my gosh, I've eaten these guys so many times in the game. It's not even a joke. Lovely cards. Everything looks premium. I'll be honest. Everything looks premium. Got the trailer. We already watched it. There's a full playthrough. Well, I mean, I don't think I'm going to watch the playthrough with you. It's going to be a little long. Maybe on a, I'll do it on a stream. We can do this. So maybe not on this video, but I'll do it on a stream. We're going to watch the whole pre playthrough and we'll see how good it is. But uh, up to this point, I must say... This is incredible. Look, look at this. They've got the timeline. Man, these are professional. They estimate shipping with the ship. Love to see it. Let me see. United States of Freedom. Where is it? USA, right? So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. $27, $40, depending on where you are, I suppose. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is um, about us, the mood team. Well, you guys are great. I mean, if I ever do end up making like a historically accurate game set in ancient Rome or something like that as a board game. I'm going to contact them and see if they want to partner up for something like that. They did Deep Rock Galactic. I used to play this a little bit with a, f a few friends of mine. Battle of the Gods is our own original IP. Nice, nice. I'd love to check it out. So uh, yeah, Iron Gate Studio once again. Phenomenal job. I love that game. I hope it never goes offline. And if it does, if Valheim goes offline, I hope that you can like allow us to keep playing it in single player mode somehow because i just freaking or like you know local multiplayer without using you know with private servers i hope that that never gets shut down because valheim is just one of my favorite games ever and uh, i just love it so uh, i might do a little playthrough and not on this channel maybe on my third i'll put the link in the description for the third channel for gaming on twitch i could do a little thing on twitch when we start from nothing solo and we try to survive you know and play through the game i play very slowly all right so i take my time i see i enjoy the cozy aspects of the game i hate the way the shield looks here uh, i wish they did covered shields like the shield should be covered with maybe a little rawhide it could be covered in uh, parchment they could with and then they could be gessoed they could be covered 
in linen, but they should be covered. The exposed planks is kind of a thing that I understand has been around since early RPG, RPGs and early movies. I just hope that the Viking shields would look a little more. But then again, it's fantasy and uh, and it's only like barely, barely inspired. I love the little bronze buckler. I have a buckler that looks just like that, but it's steel. If I find someone who can make it out of bronze, just as a way to, to like do a replica of the Valheim version, let me see. yeah, this one here in bronze, uh, if, if I can find someone who can do that, I'll pay them. I'll pay them top dollar just to have that because it's a shield that I am currently, my character is, is holding that one because I, I started all over again for like the 15th time. I enjoy replaying with new characters every time. Anyways, just wanted to share this with you, Noble Ones. You're great. Go pledge. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Please take a moment to check out my Patreon page. With as little as a $5 support, you can help us ensure that we can continue to produce high quality and high researched content. And at the same time, you get access to polls, extra videos, unlisted streams, and much more. Thank you so much.